Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to review the newest A-axis router from Redmi with speed and coverage test. And also I'm going to show you how to set it up correctly. Hope you are excited for this review. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you want to support the channel. And let's get started. First I'm going to turn on the device by plugging in the AC adapter and wiring up the router starting all. As you can see, the system light indicator is going to turn orange, meaning that the router is putting up. So now I'm just going to plug an Ethernet cable coming from my Gigabit modem into the one port of the Redmi router, so that all the Wi Fi traffic is going through this new Wi Fi 6 router. The internet light indicator is going to turn orange, meaning that we didn't set up the router yet. Then to set up your router, you're just going to head to the Wi-Fi settings of your laptop or smartphone and click one of the two new Redmi SSIDs that just appeared. Now you're going to see two checkboxes, we need to select the first option as it is the Redmi license agreement. And you can choose to select the not the second option if you want to help improve Redmi products by sending anonymous data to them. On this page you can type the Wi-Fi password you want to use to connect to your router. And keep the first option check if you also want to administrate your router with the same password. The second option is to allow auto upgrade of the router. And the third option is to allow 160 MHz channel for faster Wi-Fi 6. And we are done. The Redmi Axis router is set up and we have access to the internet. We can also see that the internet light indicator is now blue, meaning that everything works well. Finally, we can confirm my smartphone is running Wi Fi 6 by looking up at the SSID details. So now I'm going to compare the speed and coverage of this router to my old AC1750 of the two rooms with both the 2.4 and 5 GHz bands.
To conclude, this router really shines in both the 2.4 and 5 GHz bands with great speed, great coverage and really outperforms my old router with Wi-Fi 6. For $60, it's really a great budget router and I would definitely recommend it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this router or the iTech PCs and I'll see you next time.